Hi, I am Professor Vatsala Tirumalai, Associate Dean for Academics at the National Centre for Biological Sciences, NCBS, Bangalore. NCBS was established in 1991 and INSTEM was established in 2009. Let me tell you a little bit about the academic programs being offered at these two institutes. In, at NCBS, we offer PhD and integrated PhD programs and also masters in wildlife biology and conservation. These degrees are being offered and awarded by the TIFR deemed to be university. In STEM offers PhD degree and these degrees are awarded by Manipal University. Students with a master's degree in any of the basic science disciplines or if they have graduated with an MBBS or MPharm are eligible to apply for our PhD program. If you've completed bachelor's degree in any of the basic science disciplines or engineering or technology, then you can apply for our integrated PhD program. For both NCBS and INSTEM, admission is majorly through the national JG Bills entrance exam. Uh, candidates who also qualified using the CSIR uh, national exam can be considered both uh, for JG Bills and for national exams like uh, CSIR. The top 10% of candidates will be invited to submit a full application. In this full application, we ask for basic biographical information such as where did you go to uh, university, you know, what was your degree in and what did you score in these uh, courses, etc. We might also ask you about your varied interests, what you've done in the past, such as if you've done any summer internships, what books have you read, etc. And then there is this part of the application which is the full proposal. Uh, the proposal is a short essay wherein you're asked to uh, write about a scientific problem or question that's of interest to you. And then we ask you, you know, if you were to work on this problem, then how would you solve it? What are the approaches you might take? Uh, we expect that this essay should be in your own words. Um, it should convey your original thoughts. We can easily find out if there is any sort of plagiarism. And in the past, we've rejected applications wherein we saw that the essay was actually plagiarized from some other source. So once we receive your full application, committees of faculty members sit down and screen these applications. We go through these applications very carefully. Um, a winning application is one where the candidate has a decent and strong academic performance throughout, um, has uh, shown uh, broad interests such as, you know, uh, reading interesting books or having done very nice summer internships um, or, and most importantly the proposal is some a proposal that conveys a very interesting and unique uh, scientific problem and it also shows that the candidate can articulate their thoughts in uh, their own original words. Um, so we look for these various um, features of the application and we select the top 25% or thereabouts and invite them uh, for the face-to-face -face interview. So in the past, these interviews were conducted in person in Bangalore, but now this last year, uh, because of the pandemic, we had to conduct, conduct the interviews online. So the interviews themselves have two rounds. Round one is where we look at the basic understanding of the candidate in the science subjects. And once we have gone through the applicants, we select the top 20%, 30% out of those for the round two. The round two is a more extensive interview where we probe the candidate for evidence that when faced with a uh, uh, analytical problem or a logical problem, that they can uh, process that information and then they can answer the question even if you know, it's not covered in their uh, university syllabus. So at the end of round two then, we again looked at, look at the performance of candidates and we select the top 20-30% out of the round two and these candidates are then invited to join our PhD and integrated PhD programs. 
After joining the campus, PhD and integrated PhD students perform lab rotations. PhD students get to rotate in two labs and each rotation is about two months in duration, while integrated PhD students perform three lab rotations, again of two months duration. There's also differences in terms of coursework between PhD and integrated PhD programs. Integrated PhD students, because they enter straight from the bachelors, they undergo slightly more coursework compared to the PhD students. Nevertheless, both PhD and integrated PhD students receive generous fellowships to cover their expenses throughout the entire duration of their training here on campus. On this campus, we have a wide variety of sub-disciplines of biology to choose from. Everything ranging from molecules to populations of animals to human health. This smorgasbord of biology offers a rich training ground for future scientists. The variety also helps us collaborate with many different kinds of biologists that are working on our campus. Frequently I get asked, what makes a successful student at the interviews? What can I do to pass the interviews and get into the PhD program offered here? So there's no shortcut answer to this question, but um, there are a few qualities we look for in students. Uh, firstly, we look for the ability of students to think about concepts in a holistic manner. That means not boxing up your understanding into physics or chemistry or biology into subject heads, but to interlink them and to arrive at a holistic understanding uh, based on what you know in terms of basic principles in each of these subjects. So for example, you might have studied about a concept in physics uh, and you might even know the equations that govern it. But when we give you a real life example, let's say from biology, are you able to quickly remember what you've learned in physics and apply this to this situation and then you know apply the equation, solve whatever it is that we are asking you to do. That's one example. Um, the second quality that we look for in students is their ability to think on their feet. Um, that means that you know you are uh, not intimidated by the question that's being asked. Uh, many brilliant students also get nervous when they face the interview panel, quite understandable from the student's point of view. Uh, but at the same time, if you don't want your nervousness to ruin your chances, uh, maybe prepare for it, maybe do a mock interview with your friends um, and, and you can prepare yourself, imagining yourself to be in the interview panel room and maybe then you will be less nervous. The third important quality that we look for in students is uh, perseverance. Um, so when we ask you a question, you may not know the answer right away, uh, but are you someone who can process the information that's being given to you and persevere at that question and make a try at least um, how to answer this question and what approach might be taken. Frequently, you know, we are more impressed by the number of different approaches that a student gives us rather than the final answer. We are less interested in the final answer than your way of thinking about the question and how much resolve and how much um, uh, perseverance you show in trying to answer this question. Why should you do a PhD in biology? Scientific research is a deeply satisfying career option because it's an outlet for creativity and imagination. It is also an opportunity to help humanity and the planet. So if you want to be part of the endeavor to make this planet better for us and for all the other living things that inhabit it, then scientific research is a career option that you must consider. The sheer excitement of uh, making a discovery or an invention that nobody else in the world knows about is just mind-blowing. Um, so why should you consider doing a PhD here on campus uh, in our program at the NCBS and INSTEM. Um, apart from the fact that I already mentioned that we have a wide variety of biology subdisciplines here, we offer uh, the choice to students to perform rotations, lab rotations 
in many of these labs and then choose the thesis research lab that they want to join. That puts the power of choice at the hands of students. Um, the campus also has many facilities that are um, top class, uh, scientific facilities as well as facilities for uh, sports, medical, daycare uh, and excellent canteen services etc which will make your life so much more exciting on this campus. So if you're considering to do a PhD in biology, do put NCBS in STEM on top of your list. Thank you.